Okay guys, today we got a 2011 Subaru Forester. This one has a 2.5. Just gonna show you how to do an oil change on it. Alrighty, so we got our jack <clears throat> placing a good spot right here on the frame. Let's see what's right underneath. I believe this one should be a 17 millimeter. <clears throat> yeah, 17 millimeter right here on the drain pan. Let's go ahead and bust that loose. Okay, so we got our 17 millimeter busted loose. Go ahead and run that out and get your oil draining. A little hot. All right, so while that's draining, we can hop up front, or up top, sorry, and our oil filter right up here by the oil cap. One of the easiest filters ever. Go ahead and twist her off. Alrighty, so once you got that loose, go ahead and twist her off, let her drain down a bit. Alrighty, so we got that one off, disposed of it. Our new one here, this is the SDP brand. If you need the number, 4615. We'll go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Put a little remainder in there. We'll go ahead and oil up this seal. And these guys, you don't got to put them on crazy tight. Get them tight, hand tight, and then maybe just like a quarter turn. People always over tighten these. Makes it a pain in the butt to get them off the next time. That's all you got to do right there. All right, so filter's done. Oil is just about drained. Go ahead and toss our bolt back in. Clean up whatever drips were made. And then tighten our drain bolt. Now we'll hop up top and fill her up. Alrighty, so from this point, drain bolts uh, tight, new filters of height. No, I'm sorry, new filter is tight. Let's go ahead and fill her up with five and a half quarts of 020. And that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and fire it up for about five, 10 seconds. Let the uh, filter get full. I mean, it's not really gonna get full because it bleeds back down, but once you fired it up, go ahead and pull your dipstick right here. And just make sure it's, you know, at that second dot, a little over, tiny bit under is okay, but you wanna keep it right at that second dot. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, while we're here, go ahead and check all our other fluids. We got brake fluid up here. We got power steering to the left on the passenger side. This is your coolant reservoir. Make sure that's topped off with coolant. We'll go ahead and fill all these up as well. Um, windshield washer fluid. Just go ahead and give it a good once over if you want to check your front diff. Oh down here there's the tranny dipstick and then i believe the diff is right you can barely see it but right there in the back so anyways guys i hope this helped you out please click like please click subscribe and click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos and as always guys enjoy <laughs>